Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Delusional's Arcade. So we are at, as promised, as Joe Sable's Arcade. He's just his home arcade. Um, he's here, he's been gracious enough to invite my son and I over and we're having a blast here. We've been playing for a few hours and now we decided, all right, we gotta get down to business and show you guys the arcade. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in the video. All right, guys, so we're here. We're at a secret location somewhere in New Jersey. What's, What's up, up, Joe? Hello, man. <laughs> How you doing, man? Welcome to the game room. Yeah, we figured we've been playing for a little bit. We'll get the nickel tour over here. All right. So what do you want to start with? Well, let's start with the theater. This is my home theater. Um, pretty much dedicated just to a theater. We're running 7.2 sound system in here. Wow. Um, so when you say point two, it's because you have two two, sub two subs. Board. That's so crazy. Two subs in the back. Wow. They got wow. the rear surround sound speakers, one here and one there. And then we got the side surround, and then the front up there, and then the center speaker in the front. Wow. You're looking at a 10 foot screen. And the projection is 3D and 1080p. And I see, yeah, like you have like the, the whole sound thing on top. Yeah, you went so all I out. Put the acoustic treatment sound on the ceiling. And I'll tell you a tip. Um, we tried, I did a lot of researching and I tried to figure out a way of adhering it the best way. And guys, I like, use 3M spray. I went through cans and cans and cans. I put it up there and the next day, all of it fell down. Wow. Then guys are like stapling. I'm like, I don't want to see dimples. So what I came up with is hot glue. <laughs> Some simple. All you Boom. need is five spots, like you know, in each corner and one in the center. But be forewarned, I had burns everywhere. I mean, I was getting burnt because you know you're trying to you hold upside down, and I was just yeah. I got burnt a lot. It took me a lot of work, and you got to start in the center, keep the center, and work your way out. But it wow. definitely worked out real well. Yeah, and I mean, I see all your collection here and everything, but you were telling me that um, you have these curtains on the side, right? Just for acoustic yeah, so dampening I too? These for acoustic. Um, before I had so many arcades in the game room, if people have followed me, they would have saw, I used to have a big wall in right, there, right. all the games. But then when I ran out of wall space, because I'm bringing more and more arcades, I'm like, man, I gotta bring them in here. So I didn't wanna, these used to just go all the way, but now, I still have them on the pole and I can bring them. So if we do want to watch a movie, you know, I can slide it. So that just adds a little more acoustic treatment. And also these pillars that I built, they also, they hold the speakers, they hold right. the light, and they also mount for the, you know, for the curtain. So they serve three purposes. Wow, it looks really good. Yeah, and then this level is higher than the front. Oh, I didn't even notice that. So they're raised. Then I got a bar in the back here. Um, got two lights in here and one underneath. So we have a lot of times we'll eat back here, you know, have a little food and, and watch the video. Super Bowl parties are big. Um, Walking Dead, we have a party every year, which is Boxing, Boxing on this Saturday. This fight this weekend, <laughs> we're gonna have a... And you made that too, of course. I'm sure you printed that. Yes. The Sable Cineplex. Yep, I made that. <laughs> and then That's the concession awesome. stand, this is uh, handmade. I made this. Wow. This is all plexi and this is three quarter MDF, MDO. All sprayed with my Matthew system that you see in the RP. And then this back door, we just go to the dollar store and get some cool stuff. Yeah, it looks legit, man. So back here, this is all just DVD and Blu-ray collection. I don't have a huge movie collection because- you Most know, of it's digital now. Netflix and, yeah. and all that stuff. And you made those things here? That's cool. Yeah, these are some film strips of some just random movies. He's a 3D off the wall, one on that side. Oh, okay. We have some additional storage in here um, for different videos and stuff as well. Oh, wow. And here we got a cool little LED dim. Yeah, that's awesome. Shows the different <laughs> yeah, I'm going to shut down the light a little bit. You can see it. It's pretty cool. So it yeah. says now playing so Star Wars. Big, Welcome to Sable's Arcade. That I can actually digitally change it. I've had that thing for 25 years. Wow. Hey, it still works. Got it like a Sam's or something. Yeah, you know? they don't build them like I they used, used to. to. Have it at the shop. <laughs> cool. So as far as the collection goes, I have it broken up into different categories. Up top is PS1. 
Everything is cataloged I have in my phone. CLZ is an app that I use. And it also, it can work off the barcode. I was about to say, that's awesome. So I have inventory of That is, saves a lot of time. PS2, PS3, PSP here, we. Um, That's yeah, Xbox Wii U, One. Xbox, awesome. And we've got the, the Switch, PS4. I got more PS4 unopened than I have opened. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a working man right there. You have no yeah. time for stuff. <laughs> Here's the original Xbox. I've always been a huge fan of the original. Yeah, Xbox. it's my favorite system too. 360. Then we got the Wii, pretty good titles, and then the GameCube. GameCube. All right, then over here, I have these are big box PC games, some loose Atari. This is my uh, Dreamcast, a lot of random PC and loose stuff, some Intel, right. some other big box stuff. Wow, you have the PSP. boxes for Intel too. So then up here is Genesis, we have NES, Super Nintendo, N64 with my labels. One of my biggest sellers still. Yeah, you still, still what do you do today. with those? Those are just, um, obviously they don't come on side labels, so you just make them custom. Yep. Got the Vectrex original couple games that I've had, and I got the multi also. And they were featured, I think, on Metal Jesus' uh, yes, YouTube channel, right? And yeah. CJR. That's cool. Yep. Really cool. I have them in gray, red, white, and black. Awesome. In this corner here, I have an old GX from Samsung CRT <laughs> that I have all these old consoles hooked to. Gives it a really good picture and a great sound. Awesome. That's so cool. That has such a retro feel to it, you know, like it really does. they would never make that nowadays. I got this at a flea market. It was still in the box. Wow. It was like pretty much mint. I think I got it for like 40 bucks. Yeah. Wow. So all these are hooked up. Really cool. Great. Oh, and they're Vectrix. I didn't even see that. Yeah, the Vectrix. This is my original Vectrex that I got when I was 10, when it first came out. I still have it. My mom kept yeah. it. They, they last forever. And she kept that for me. <laughs> That's you nice. Know? And the games. I mean, they're still the original box games that I Yeah. Have. Yeah, like I saw the Intellivision ones. And there's like little gems here I see too. Like you have this, uh, it looks like a, I don't know, knockoff. Uh, yeah, this game print. This <laughs> a is, meme. This is it's pretty so funny. This awesome. is something that I got on, I don't know if it was eBay or Amazon. I'm going to say 25, 30 bucks. It's a super knockoff, but. And it has emulators like, in there with a little like screen. No weight to it. It's so light, you know what I mean? But it's amazing. <laughs> it's, got, it's got the Super Mario Brothers. It's got a bunch of games on it. I don't even know how That's many. That's amazing. Um, I don't know if it tells you, but it is pretty neat. Yeah, that's cool. And then you got your plug and plays. These are cool. I started collecting them. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, and I saw the Nerf thing down here. Yeah, I just. New in box. <laughs> Box. Everybody had these hanging in there. Yeah, of course. Door, you know what I mean? I saw this like, oh my god, it's like one dollar. One dollar at a garage sale, people. That's I crazy. Set that up here. I'm gonna just chill out and start. <laughs> you'd ruin the value though, because <laughs> you'd open yeah. it. You want to keep it in the box. Uh, <laughs> All right, so let's head to the main area yeah, here. Yeah. The man cave. <laughs> of course, it's official. Holy crap! This is nice. I mean, you have the bar area, this whole thing. Look at this. Wow. You weren't kidding, man. This thing is awesome. So let's start. I guess we'll start here in the All corner. Right, so let's start over here with the American dartboard. Uh, this is something that I grew up playing with my dad at the shop. And we still play, and we used to play in the league. But this is uh, American darts. And these are much lighter than English darts. And you actually stand a lot closer. It's just a completely different style game. The English starts are heavier and a further distance, but a lot of fun. When people come over, we still play that. And it's cool because you can keep the scores. We play the yeah, games good. with that. Over here, I got a sink, and then we got the bar area. I just recently picked this bar up um, at a yard sale for probably like 25, 30 bucks. The, the lady, she made the mistake by saying, just get it out of here. So when she said that, I knew I could get it down low. <laughs> so don't say that to me. <laughs> yeah. And then back here, we have another bar. Um, 
What's cool about this bar is it actually flips up and you can have a roulette table. It has a craps table inside underneath. I put some LED lights in here and the sign I built. And here I have my nice. wife's uh, Mega Touch, which is really cool. I used to have a stand up one, but it kind of took up almost the space of an arcade. Yeah, they do. Yep. So, and this is a much new, more modern version. So, this is really nice. This came out of Vegas. Really cool. Wow. Got some bar signs in here. Yeah, they look good. Got some liquor over here. Not a big drinker, but you know, we have. You know, you got to have the liquor, yeah. Got some refrigerator down here. Here's wow, look at this. Line. The Czech Super Bubble Hockey. Super Czechs, nice. I played, I played in the league last year and I got my ass handed to it. <laughs> These guys are no joke. Like, I don't know if that's something to be proud of or uh, <laughs> that they're still good at a video game. Well, I'll tell you, it was, when I got this game, it was clean, but it, it needed a lot of, please take a lot of abuse in, in arcades and stuff. So I put all new um, couplings where they put a shaft hooks to the character. I put new guys in there and new gears because the gears get worn out after a while. So now this is basically like a brand new game. Yeah. Really cool. Corner is basically where I sit and I watch regular TV and I have uh, my new more modern system. Oh, okay. So I just picked up the new Sonic Mania mm -hmm. and that's just a little statue mm -hmm. it came with. Here I have a custom, well not custom, but a limited edition PS2. This is the yellow version. And they had yellow, red, blue. Don't quote me on that, but that might be all that thing. Yeah, that one looks nice though. These are some cool Wii U guns for the, uh, for the, <laughs> for the Wii. All right, this is a 55-inch 3D TV, probably about five years old now, but in its time it was still yeah, up spectacular. Yeah, it still works. Yeah, great. that's great. Yeah. In this corner here, I have a 360, the Xbox One, two modded Xboxes. I got the Wii U down there, and then I got the Nintendo Switch over here. Then I got the PS2, the fat. Then I got a PS3 fat, the, the regular PS3, and then the PS4. Also, we have the VR, which is really cool. And here's another fat PS2. Yeah, those play the original games. Those are those yeah. are sought after. One, yeah. two, and three. Yeah. And then here's the original uh, limited edition Halo version. I actually did the skin on that. That's cool. And my buddy Christian made this. This is cool. He has a 3D printer. So he made this for the Switch. And the controls go on here. And you can actually drink while you're playing. So, <laughs> like in between rounds. Yeah, that's, so that's you, cool. it's pretty neat. So if you're drunk, this is really what I like. <laughs> yeah. But it's still cool for whatever. Yeah, you good novelty a item. can or a beer bottle or whatever in there. So that's pretty much everything. This is running. That's uh, cool. Yeah. Sound system. I got a sub back here. We got speakers behind there, there, and then above your okay. head over there. Yeah, and you set up a little area. It's nice. Yeah. Cool. Here, All right. So let's get to the arcade so this, here. So this this comes. Uh, this came from Japan, and this is running a modded 360. So right now you can see it's got Marvel versus Capcom 3. Okay. And so it's a it's a JTAG, I guess. The uh, yeah, the Xbox. Really nice. And thousands of games what's cool about it is it runs on time so you put a quarter in it i don't know if that's a thing in japan that they did or how that came about i've never seen it before but it's really cool i think you might get five or ten minutes per it's kind quarter. of like the play choice i guess right yeah it's a more probably, modern right? version yeah but i usually put like 90 minutes in it if i have you know company over and that's how we play but it's definitely really cool and that's it actually cool. has these you know the actual analog oh yeah i saw that yeah the these side. are i guess you use them for games yeah, some games actually moving right now oh check it out that's cool so a lot of really good titles that's nice because they're games, not like this is really really comfortable yeah. to play with these stools really really nice yeah i think it's a pretty good design too it's nice it just looks inch. good the speakers are there all metal and plastic construction so they're these are very durable as far as moving them around. Yeah, definitely Japanese style, yeah. Here we got the Blast City, the famous Blast City with all fiberglass and metal construction. Um, these are really, And really these are JAMA, of course. Yeah, yeah, so right now I have a Pandora's box in here, but I do have like a Street Fighter 2 board. I have a um, 
several different fighting games, and I used to put the turtles board in here. Whatever you want, anything JAMA works. Plus, right. I have a kick harness, so you know before oh, okay. I even knew what that was, I was like, ah, I have no kick buttons. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then I the had extra the, thing, yep. The extra harness. Yeah. So, <laughs> so here we got a. This was originally a Cruiser Exotica, but they sold conversion kits for this drift. Um, oh really? I actually got this cabinet huh. for free. Uh, a friend of mine. You know, he had it, and it only needed a watch battery. So, when I was able to figure that out, it took us a week to figure that out, though, what was wrong with it. Right. But it really ended up being just a little watch battery. That's all wow, you got lucky, yep. So, this game plays really good. I really didn't do anything to it other than clean it up. You know, it's not in immaculate condition, but it's definitely presentable for sure. Yeah, that's cool. And this is a new uh, pickup recently. Okay, yeah, this is the one we saw in the, in the forums, in the user groups. Yeah, so I went camping about a month ago or so and at the campground they had this and it was a hot day and you know and I was playing it and the fans blowing on me and I just I fell in love with the game. I love racing games anyway but I really like this game. I was fortunate to post up that I was looking for one and um, one guy was like I got one so I drove down to Maryland and me, me and he made a trade and I did a little bit of work to it. I re-scanned the marquee. I did a new marquee. I put new team molding on it. I refinished this outside box because I got beat up. Other than that, the game is all original. So really uh, in good shape for what it is. Yeah, that's a fun game. I love the fact that it has a fan in it. Yeah, and the on seat top rumbles and the seat too. rumbles, yep. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, really great game. Here we got Carnival. This is a really good shooting game. Um, I had Area 51 before this, which was also a really good game. But there's something about this style game and the art that I I've always liked. So when I was able to find one, I, I swapped Yeah, them and you know, they're not emulated anymore. I mean, not yet. You know, the yeah, computers are a tough game. a little bit. It's a tough yeah, game. It's so like jumpy and, and chattery. You could always sound. fire up, uh, you know, Area 51 and get like the yeah. guns or whatever for it. But I this have one's tougher. PS2 and stuff like that. But, yeah. yeah. This one's definitely, and the artwork on this cabinet. Here you got your son playing my um, racing sim. Yep. So right now this is running a <laughs> PS3. This is all powder coated frame. That's um, so cool. From Carriage Works. So you did everything on this. You built yeah, the spoiler this, on this it. This whole thing was all hand built. This is all one inch MDF. Wow. And this is PVC, spray, metallic, silver, gray, everything. The box was all custom built. I made, I put aluminum angle iron on the edge. So when you walk up, you wouldn't mess up the edges. You All the speakers, it's running yeah. a 5.1 sound system inside with a full-blown receiver and it has a buck kicker right here. So as you're hitting and different textures on the road, you feel the impact. Oh, you feel the impact, yeah. And the steering wheel is a G, G27 Logitech, so it's really nice, has really good force Yeah, I, was, I mean, the first game you fired up when I tried it, you know, you put the shifter on it and... and it has the clutch and everything. It was great. And the seat's fully adjustable forward and back and the reclining. And also, that's a 42-inch plasma. Wow. So yeah, it looks good. The graphics good. also around the bezel, so it added, you know, it brought in the... It the ties it all together, yeah. yeah. That it's thing really is awesome. Cool. I love this thing that you got here. I know there's a company that does it. Um, but it's just like a solid... It looks like a roll cage almost, you know, where you just put your pedals and stuff. and. Yeah, that whole frame, you could buy this part, but I didn't want it just on the ground because it didn't yeah. look like now I feel yeah, like it, it looks, looks like I a mean, complete Yeah, it looks, I mean, if you walk away know? from it now, I mean, it looks and amazing. it stands up off the ground. It's just, it's, it's really heavy, cool. Wow, is that thing heavy. So over here, we got my virtual pin. This is really cool. Some people are like skeptical, they don't like it. I like it only because I love pinball machines, but I like arcades even more. So I have one, as you can see here, but to be able to have three, four hundred games on, on one, to me, is a, a, time, you know, a space saver. Also, the cost of normal pins is very expensive. Yeah. Uh, average from two to ten grand, you know? That's, so what are you running on here? Is it like Hyperpin? Oh, yeah, it it's is. It's kind of okay. like, yeah. Yeah, so basically, just with these slippers, I can cycle through. It previews kind of just like Hyperspin, but this is Hyperpin. You know, what's cool about this is these are all hobbyists that spent the time to sit there and scan and recreate 
there's a lot that goes into just one table. I mean, a lot of work yeah. to get this. You know, some play way better than others, but for the most part, you know, even let's just say that you are a pinball collector and you're like, ah, I'm looking for something new. This would be a great tool to be able to play. Oh yeah, just like me, and we were just, talking about that yeah, earlier, so yeah. To play a couple games and like see what, what do I like, what would I use. Right. You know? This has got full surround sound system inside. I mean, this is really well built. This is powder coated rails and... and yeah, like, it looks really good, it pops. It's got a DMD in the back. I had no idea powder coat could be colorful either i thought we thought it was always black but and it's got the monster bash art this is original monster bash art wow. which is really cool so oh that was i keep forgetting that this is something you acquired so that was yeah the original art completely done like this when the guy ordered it he ordered it as a monster bash version i see okay so virtual pin is the company that actually made it um, wow so it works just like job. hyperspin yeah yeah. So this here, it's funny because John from John's Arcade, um, just a quick shout out, he actually picked one up for a buddy of his and he's going to ship it to him. And then I came here and you have one. <laughs> yeah, this that's is, such a coincidence. This is a really, really awesome uh, pinball machine that I got off a good buddy of mine that does a lot of repair work for mine. And I know anything that he has is immaculate and he keeps yeah. everything original. And he's had it for probably 15 years before I got it. The play field has virtually no wear. Um, everything is original on it, other than he's updated the rubbers, but he didn't put any crazy right. add-ons or anything. I think it's so cool, like like John was saying in his video, that you know you have the characters there, yep. the actual toys. Yeah, this, this plays it's, really it's well. This is really cool. Even the back glass has like almost minimal, tiny little bit of flaking. He did put LED lights in the back, because. One of the biggest reasons that a lot of back glasses flake is because of the heat. The of heat, the yeah. They so change by, temperature. By yep. taking that out of the element, you're kind of preserving yeah. it. But they not, look pretty good. He did work. a good job because they, they look, you know, like incandescent bulbs. It doesn't look like, you know, the blue yeah, he got hue the warmer, that you get. Soft. Yeah, he, that's yeah, the key to it. Yeah, he cool lights. That it would not look right. Yeah, that. it would look really, uh, you know, bad. So I think. this is really a great thing. Everyone that comes over plays this. Yeah, I mean, it's turtles. I mean, side, can't go it's wrong. A, it's in great shape. That's cool. Here's a, a pickup I got for probably 50 bucks. Yep, that's uh, how it goes. <laughs> and it didn't look like this, but it was still decent. Right. I did all new side art, recreated that completely. I did a brand new marquee. Um, the bezel is now in cardboard just like the original. I'll put a new plexi. I right. Recap the monitor, did a new cardboard in the back, a new CPO that I made, resprayed the whole cabinet, new T molding, and this thing really looks like brand new. Yeah, it looks great. And you offer that art package, obviously, right? I do have this. Yeah, that's set. cool. Yep. And here you're looking at original, so I mean, and I've scanned everything from the original, so it's dead on. And speaking of art packages, we did another video where we gave uh, a tour to your shop and it was pretty amazing where you had the debut, world debut of the X-Men 6 player yes. artwork. Yep. So if you guys want to go to that, he has coupon codes listed in the video and it's really cool. And uh, actually right video now, to see. as we speak, I'm working on the four player for X-Men. Oh, okay. Redoing that whole art set. Wow. So that's going to be the next thing available. Nice. And you're doing that again, you know, with vectorized from scratch, from scans. So I it's am. all going to be your work. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. But luckily, some of the elements I'm going to be able to use from the six player. Some. some right. Mm -hmm. Like the logo. Uh, the and background. The arrows for the control panel and the background. Right. I have all those elements. So it's just resizing right. and rescaling to make it fit for that. That's cool. My ultimate game of all time. If somebody <laughs> said, what is the one? If I could only have one game, it seems crazy, but this would be it. For some yep. reason, this just is the game when I grew up that I had the most fun. Yeah, I remember seeing it in bowling alleys and like begging for quarters. I it's love this game. Al or the ally door, which is cool, the coin doors. Yeah, that's rare. Yeah, to this, have that. This marquee is original. The side art is original. I did put a new plexi bezel. I did put a new cardboard bezel and a new uh, control panel on it. New buttons. We did a cap kit on the monitor and the uh, power supply and the big blue. We oh, the big blue, you replaced so, it. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, I mean, this thing is like. Yeah, you bulletproofed it really basically. Stable. This thing came to me. Uh, a buddy of mine, Ed, 
who knew I've been looking for one. On this one, I did a whole new control panel overlay. The bezel's original, but the inside bezel, I actually did a video on my uh, on my channel on how I went about it. Yeah, I remember that. that. Yeah, so I'll, I'll link to the description and I'll also put it right here. You can go to his channel and see how we did that. You yeah, can so make your own. Cool project. It's really cool. Now, one interesting thing that I didn't realize about this originally was when I saw this, I knew that this is what the marquee looks like on a cabaret. Right. Right. So I'm like, why did someone use the artwork on the cabaret on the full side? And somebody brought to my attention, they're like, no, on the early, like the very first <laughs> run of these, yeah. this was the actual marquee for it. Yeah. So they it's... change a few things. This was one thing, and the pitch on the original. Oh, the angle this of the was glass. More upright. Okay. I could be wrong if it was the vice versa, but right. one of them was more upright than the other, and there was a lot of glare reflection issues. And in the first generation, that was one of the problems. And they changed that. And when they did that, they also they changed corrected it. They other changed than that, it. The game is, is pretty much. The yeah, same. it looks good. It I, I really dig subtle. that. That it's and you know. You can see how 3D. I don't know how well it'll pick up in the. In the oh film. yeah, I mean, I've, you know, it's hard to capture on film. I mean, you got to see it in person. It's but the fact 3D, that it's and it's all mirrored. Everything is mirrored. Like that whole background. But it's kind of a mirror that you see through. Right. Which is cool because. That bezel in the back is behind the mirror, but yet you're reflecting the mirror of the image. So it's really gives it a lot of depth. Yeah, it was genius. And a black light. You know, plus it looks it looks bigger than it really is too. Yeah. It looks like it's further back. Yeah. Well, here's Donkey Kong Jr. Um, this came when I got this. The monitor, like the screen, I have a video of when I picked this up. It was like a quarter of the size. And really, I just needed a new cap kit, and the right. guy got rid of it because of that. He didn't know it, you know. Yeah. So I got this pretty cheap. I put new team molding in it. This is the this is the original CPO, original bezel, original marquee. The side art it didn't have any on it, so I redid all that artwork, which I do have, and the new cap kit. And I also put the remix board in there. So oh yeah, that's this, essential. And now I got the save score and. Yeah, I noticed. I see Joe there on the high scores, and I can see the remix right here. So it's definitely. This is a great game, for sure. Yeah. Another one of my favorites is the Space Invaders. I remember when I was camping in the early 80s with my mom and dad and my sisters. I used to play Space Invaders all the time. I love this game. Still love the art. This is one of my favorite art styles. And this game is in really, really good condition. Yeah, it looks and awesome. And I also put the brace kit on here. So now I have several games. So oh, yeah, got, okay. I got Space Invaders, Space Invaders Deluxe, which this is. Lunar Rescue. Lunar Rescue, I just played that. It's so fun, there's, yeah. a, there's several games in here all in that. Plus and they all saves. save as well. And it saves yeah. and it's uh, free play. So this is, I mean, because I never knew about this kit until I came here today. And a lot of the games are fun. I would totally get a Space Invaders now just because of that kit. Yeah. Because the, the original cheap. game is okay, but with all this other stuff. And it doesn't solder in either. It literally just. You just pop just it on. Pop it on. There's no soldering. Anyone could do that. Wow. Really, five minute job. Yeah. It takes more time to pull the machine out and take the back door off. And I believe it. it yeah. This is a uh, Pac Mania. Me and my wife went up to the game vault in Morristown, and when I first went up there and I took some signs and banners for his new business, his new arcade, she fell in love with this game and she really played it. Like we went there a couple times, she just kept playing it, playing it. And then one of these came available and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get that for my wife because I know how much she liked it. And she loves this version because it, it adds a new element of being able to jump. Jump, yeah. So that, that's just cool, it's 3D. A lot of people are like, eh, it's, but you know, she likes it, I like it, I think it's a great game. I feel it's become more popular now and than it did back then. Cool. Yeah, so it's yeah look at this marquee, great. I mean, yeah, that would be hard it's to reproduce. It's all 3D, all you know? 3D is yeah, really, it's all really popped cool. out and stuff. And the cabinet is, is, in, is in great shape. This is a new CPU that somebody put on there. Yeah, so that already came on there. Okay. Yep. Now, this That's is the cool. one that was in my shop that you saw. I okay. did not restore this yet, but I am limited on time. So I figured, you know what? My buddy did all the work to it. He got it running solid. So I figured I'm going to bring it in here and enjoy it. 
and I think from the move, something got loose. I haven't had time to mess with it yet, but I think one of my ribbon cables or something is loose. Oh yeah, you could probably, so yeah. I gotta, I gotta dig into that, so that's why that's not Maybe on. it's just the fuse, like everybody says. Yeah, it's just the fuse. <laughs> you gotta plug it in. Yeah. This is a recent Burger pickup. time. Um, this is, this truly is my wife's favorite game. And I actually think it's one of the coolest art style cabinets that's out yeah. there. I just love the art on this. And I was able to pick this up for her. And she loves the game. And now... That's how it works. Happy wife, collection. happy life, right? Yeah. Here is a awesome centipede cabaret. The cool thing about this is, this is the full scaled version of the monitor that was on the full yeah, side. Yeah, 19 inch. And and that makes it really fun to play. This is a brand new monitor in here. The controls are, are really good. The game plays great. The cabinet's in really solid condition. Yeah, I think it's great because, you know, I mean, I used to own the Centipede. That thing is humongous. It is. I mean, it's a, it's a big It's game. like Dig Dug. It's huge. Yeah, and this, I'll tell you another one that I would love to have is Dig Dug Cabaret. I had the full-size Dig Dug. I started to do some video restorations. I have all the video filmed. But okay. I never edited it, and that's been a couple uh, of years now. But I got that thing. That was a, a basket case when I got it. It was right. in the mud outside, and I completely restored that to like brand new. Wow. Um, but Dig Dug in a cabaret. Cabarets are really popular right now. We do a lot of different art style packages for them because you can see a lot of them had just the wood grain. Um, but they're just very popular right now because you can fit a lot more of those cabinets. You yeah, can see, it's true. You know how big your they're other They're skinnier, ones. that's it why. It was huge yeah. compared to this. And these are super easy to move around. Mm -hmm. Like, they're fun to move around. It's like little. Yeah, Space that's cool. Zap, this is a... This is They also really made cool. this in full size, but this is the cabaret version. This is one of the few cabaret versions. But this is this is this cabinet of a, a Pac-Man. Cabaret. This is identical. You know, this is the Bally cabinet, but this is the shape of a Pac-Man. Wow, even the straight lines? I, would, I thought it'd be a little more curved. No, this is exactly, That's exactly it. That's yeah, exactly yeah. it. 100%. Wow, I never knew that. It's a very, very simple game, but very addicting and super fast. So, a lot of fun. These yeah, you get rare, purple tunnel with that. Right now. <laughs> this is the very first game that I ever built. Um, it's got to be seven years now wow. that I started getting into doing this. And I went crazy with this thing, as you can see. This is a 42 inch screen. Um, we got 50,000 games on here. Wow, I'm talking that's a anything lot. Anything from the Wii back, full set. I did all the custom artwork on it. That's cool. LED lights. It's got 5.1 surround sound, and these are connected, so whenever you move oh, the yeah, surround, they're up here. so you've got the speakers here, and the sides, and the front, right here, wow. this pulls out. And you can see the LEDs as well when you do this, yeah, you can see them now, that's cool. And then also underneath, I got a, a modded Xbox, I got an Xbox 360, because we use the Kinect for bowling and sports games. I have a Wii here, here's the Wii sensor bar, and a PS3 for a move. All okay. of that is also connected to this machine just by changing the inputs. Right. So, I like that you have original controllers on them too, you know, because yeah, some so of the consoles... Like N64 emulation. Oh, you gotta this have that. This is USB, yep. and for PS1 I also have a it's PS2 It's almost impossible wired. to play Mario 64 with, uh, with those joysticks, yeah. there's no way. So right now you see Dreamcast that's just running a uh, hyper spin, but cool. definitely really cool. Mm -hmm. And here's my pool table. This is a Brunswick. This is a slate, three quarter slate. Uh, I had this ordered probably 12, 15 years ago. You know? Wow, it's nice. And we still play this a lot. My family comes over, me and my wife, my dad, and we still enjoy playing this. So. This is definitely not going to go anywhere. Awesome, man. So, uh, so thanks again. I know we spent some time playing earlier, and we said, "All right, let's let's stop playing. We got to stop because we got to do this video." <laughs> but uh, we had a great time. You know, even at your shop. If you guys missed the other video, just click on the link here, and uh, you can head to it. But Joe's an awesome guy. 
I'm glad I got to know him and I'm glad he's nearby that I can visit, uh, you know, when the wife I'm allows. I'm glad you and your son were able to come <laughs> and enjoy it. Um, yeah, we had a great time. He's still playing over there. He doesn't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so that about does it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell icon that we'll be notified when I release some videos in the future. Thanks again, big shout out to Joe Sabo who led us into his home and we just experienced this amazing arcade with his pool table, his bar, his vids, his pinballs, his virtual pins, his driving cab, and the list goes on and on and on. So again, thanks. I guess we'll see you in the next one. Take care.